that all children have toys. Some kids like playing with toy cars. Others play with dolls. Some have only a few toys, and others have many. In my childhood, I had so many toys that my parents had to empty a whole wardrobe for them. Can you believe it? But every child has a special toy. It is their favorite, and it is played with more often than other toys. A young boy named Alex has such a toy. Can you guess what kind of toy it is? I'll give you a hint. This toy has four wheels. You're almost right. It's an ambulance. It looks very realistic and has bright lights on the roof. If you press a button, the roof lights and headlights start flashing and a siren starts wailing. This ambulance was a present from Alex's parents for his birthday half a year ago. Since then, he practically never goes anywhere without it. When Alex eats, the car is at the table near him. When he goes for a walk, he always takes it with him. Before going to bed, Alex carefully puts the car on the shelf above his bed. Then he looks at it for a long time and dreams what kind of game he will play tomorrow. That night, Alex once again put the car on the shelf and said good night to it. Then he went to sleep. That night he had a wonderful dream where he was an ambulance driver and helped doctors to save people's lives. He liked dreaming very much, so Alex tried to go to bed on time every evening to fully enjoy his dreams. But very soon, morning came. And when the boy woke up, he noticed that the ambulance was on the wrong edge of the shelf. How could that be? Alex was greatly surprised. He picked up the car and started to examine it. There was not a single broken window. The lights and siren were not damaged. The headlights flashed. It was strange, but he found traces of dirt on a wheel. Alex immediately looked at the shelf and the floor. They were clean. Could the car go outside at night by itself? That was impossible. He had never noticed anything like that before. At breakfast, Alex told his parents about the curious event. They agreed that it was impossible and asked Alex to quietly finish his food. After breakfast, he decided to call his grandma and grandpa and tell them everything. But even they didn't believe him. 
So Alex made up his mind to start his own investigation and find out where his favorite ambulance had been the previous night. Alex was aware that it would be hard and he had to do a lot of preparation. First, he found a small bedside lamp that was working on batteries and also warm socks. Then he hid a jacket under his pillow. What if he had to go outside looking for the ambulance? He knew that it was cold outside at night. After a while, he had collected all the things he needed. That day, Alex went to bed in the afternoon later than usual and slept for more than two hours. He did it, of course, so that he would not have to sleep that night. A long afternoon nap was a part of his plan. Then he obediently ate his entire dinner. In the evening, he brushed his teeth and went to his room with his dad. Almost every night, his dad read him fairy tales before bed, and Alex liked it very much. That night, they started a new book about a brave police puppy and its team. But Alex was constantly distracted and thought only about his plan for tracking the ambulance. In the end, he just closed his eyes and pretended to be asleep. After a while, Dad put the book aside, kissed his son on the cheek, and left for his bedroom. That was what Alex had been waiting for. He carefully half opened one of his eyes and started attentively watching the shelf where his motionless favorite toy was. Ten minutes passed. Then, twenty more minutes. The car was still motionless. Maybe it was not going to go anywhere that night. Alex decided to wait just another half an hour. If the car didn't go anywhere, he would just turn on his side and sleep. Ten minutes passed. Suddenly, the boy saw a kind of movement on the shelf. He carefully opened another eye and watched. First, the ambulance turned on its headlights. Then it slowly approached the opposite edge of the shelf and quietly fell on the bed. The car moved along the bed and fell on the soft rug on the floor. After that, it speeded up and went towards the toy box. Its bright headlights illuminated the room very well. What was it planning? But then, Alex got an even bigger surprise. Other toys started getting out of the box. A green rubber dinosaur was the first to jump out of the box. Next followed a soft teddy bear. And then a blue beach ball rolled out. But 
wait, there was more. A long forgotten red wooden plane flew down from the top of the wardrobe. Alex couldn't believe his eyes. For a moment, he even thought that he had just fallen asleep and was having a dream. After a while, all toys lined up and moved towards the door of the room. At the head of the line, his favorite ambulance was leading with flashing lights. Then, the green dinosaur followed. Next after the dinosaur was the teddy bear. And after the teddy bear was the rolling beach ball. The plane couldn't fly, and it followed its friends slowly. Alex carefully left his bed, switched on the light, and moved towards his toys. He had to be very careful not to frighten them. He might never get another chance. The toys were going downstairs, but suddenly a sleepy dad came out of his bedroom. What's going on here? The toys immediately became motionless. And Alex stood still with the bedside lamp in his hands. Dad looked in amazement, first at Alex, then at the toys scattered on the floor and stairs, and he scratched his head silently. Dad, my toys came alive. And tried to run away from me. Son, that's impossible, his dad said for the second time that day. Alex tried to prove to his dad that it was true, but unfortunately, the adults had completely stopped believing in miracles. Then, suddenly, Alex's dad fell to thinking and decided to encourage him. He took his son's hand and they went to the bedroom together. His dad sat down on the bed next to Alex and asked him to forget what he'd said. Little children need to believe in miracles. If you are sure that your toys come alive at night, then that's fine. And next time, call me, and together we will find out where the toys go. Agreed? Alex hugged his dad tightly, and then went to sleep very quickly. In his dream, he was an ambulance driver again, and helped the doctors to save people's lives. Do you think your toys come alive at night too? Next time, try to spy on your favorite toy. Maybe it loves walking outside with its friends too. And now, close your eyes and go to sleep. Good night, my child.